The scuffle ensued as Besige's convoy made its way to the trading center in Aloy Sub County, where he was due to hold his first rally. It followed reports that NRM officials were buying off local people to keep away from attending his campaign rallies. Two journalists who were quick to rush the scene were injured as the IPC and NRM supporters clashed. This guy, this guy. It's this man who beat him. Yeah, the scaffold was only brought to an end when the security detail attached to the IPC president intervened and arrested the men who harmed the journalists. Among them was the NRM chairman of Aloy Sub County. The IPC president condemned the actions of the NRM supporters and said it was a sign that the party had been rejected. He, however, encouraged the voters not to reject the money because it was their taxes. You eat it, it is your money. Eat it, eat it quickly. Clean your lips, ask for more. Still make sure you vote out the corrupt people. If you don't vote them out, what you ate, you will pay back a thousand times. This evening, police spokesperson Judith Nabakova said the IPC supporters had been misled into believing that the NRM was bribing people known to attend BCJ's rallies. She said the NRM chairman of the sub-county was only holding a grassroots mobilization meeting. They never even involved police and also the detective <laughs> made sure that actually he did this group and they ended up colliding in the end. So we just appeal to especially the candidates that in case of anything the information should be reported to police than using now the personnel they have given them to guard them using those personnel to fall into traps when they haven't really verified the actual information on it on the ground meanwhile assault charges have been slapped against one of BSG's bodyguards Charles Tumurami for starting the scaffold he is currently detained at Lira Central Police Station